Hello, thank you for calling up. The set is under construction, okay? Give me some grace, give me some time. All right, I'm gonna figure it out. Hello? <laughs> Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back. If you're new, it's very nice to meet you. I hope everybody watching is doing well. It's so freaking early, you guys. What time is it? Okay, it is like eight o'clock in the morning right now. I just finished your guys' reading. I have to run out the door. I gotta go make a bag. So, today's pick a card, you guys, is going to be a wild card pick a card. I'm excited for you guys to get into it. Without further ado, here is a clip in the piles right now. All right, you guys, we have group number one with the marigold, group number two with the strawberries, group number three with the chrysanthemums. <laughs> I really am trying to say that correctly, by the way. Anyways, and group number four with the oranges. If you guys need a moment to mate, to mate, <laughs> if you guys need a moment to meditate on which pile is calling your name, you guys are free to do that right now. And if you want to pick more than one pile, you guys are always welcome to do so. All right, you guys have now picked your pile. Please go ahead and check out my description box for up to you guys timestamps for when the reading will start. And with that, let's go and jump into today's pick a card. Hello, group number one. Welcome to your guys' reading. Let's go ahead, you guys, and roll some go I feel like that should be like uh, a little further over there, huh? It's fine. Anyways, we're rolling the dice. Leo. Okay. Hello, Leo. Welcome to the reading Sun, Moon, Rising. I love you, Leo. We have Sagittarius and Virgo. I love Sagittarius and Virgo as well. Love me some earth. Love me some fire. Virgo again. Hello, Virgo. Cancer and Sag. Okay. Hello. 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 Okay. So starting with the cards you guys can I please king of swords can I please get a wild card message for group number oh oh we got the empress can I get a wild card message for group number one group one this is cute we love this the most okay talk about that in a second we're gonna move on to the oracle cards can i please get a message for group number one a wild card message that they need to hear or that would be helpful or beneficial something that they need to hear spirit straight said y'all need to grow up i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding um evolution change right change okay um can i please get time oh thinking we are pondering which makes sense you guys because we did have the first two cards that came out out of the tarot were the king of swords and the ace of swords the swords are always connected to the mind right so i find that interesting that like time and thinking is popping up can i get a message it was this one take a chance you can't grow Ooh, distance. That's so interesting. I need lotion on my hands. My hands feel very coarse at the moment. Can I? Ooh, 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 okay. Group one, this is interesting. Can I please get a card for group number one? Positivity. Cute. Now we're going to get some astrology cards. Can I get a card for group number one? Can I please? Fourth house, the home, family, stability. That showed up with the 10 of cups as well, you guys. I find that intriguing. Um, and the third house of communication. Again, thinking, communication is popping up again, you guys. The swords, the mind. Can I please have, oh, all right, that works for me. Independence, okay, that's so, I need to go get lotion. I'm gonna be one second. Oh, you guys know if there's one thing this plague has brought me besides, you know, the plague and like everything else, it's dry hands because I swear everything I touch, I wash my hands after because I'm just like, your germs are gross, you know? Okay. The king of swords. So the king of swords, you guys, is quite literally a king who is intelligent, okay? Like I was telling you guys earlier, the, the swords rule over the mind, thought, thinking, communication. Think Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy, air sign energy, right? Um, I mean, he doesn't represent Virgo energy, but 
because Virgo and Mercury are so intertwined it does give me that energy as well anyways not the point the point is the king of swords is somebody where when he makes decisions you guys he is going to look at all the possible option he's going to look at the full spectrum the full scope of the situation and then make his choice right he's not someone who he's quick but he doesn't act without thinking right he's also someone who's very blunt he's very honest He's always going to tell the truth. He's always going to give it to you straight, whether you like it or not. That's just who the King of Swords is. So with this card, it's really giving me this energy of either this being you or somebody important in your life who is giving you some information or just giving it to you very plainly, bluntly, frankly, if you will. Um, so there is that. And we also have the Empress that came up. So whenever there's like a man and a woman coming up, regardless of your orientation or how you identify or whatever, um, I still see this as like masculine and feminine energy coming together, right? It could be that this is the same person we're talking about because of course somebody could be this King of Swords and this Empress at the same time. Um, all of us have masculine and feminine energy in us. And I have to say this every time because, you know, if there's new people watching, I don't want to I don't want to hear it um but basically you guys what i'm saying is the empress and the king of swords may be intertwined with each other now the empress represents somebody who is a beautiful woman she is abundant she is creative she is a mother um she is represented usually with like a pregnancy or you know a little baby bump and that signifies somebody who is bringing something into the world something somebody who is birthing something into the world now birth anyone i mean how do I say this? Anyone can bring something into the world, something of substance, substance into the world, right? When you think about it, um, think about all the artistic historians or all the writers of the past. Okay, Shakespeare, Leonardo da Vinci, people like these obviously were not having children, but they were bringing something of value into the world, something artistic, something that the world looks at and goes, ah, you know? So <sighs> creative energy is here feminine energy is here, luxury and abundance and beauty is here, along with the mind thinking being blunt, frank and honest. So we have excitement popping through you guys. Now I do see this you guys quite frankly as like excitement that is busting through um, perhaps stagnant energy because like when you look at this, this hand is coming out of like clouds clouds feel very i know clouds are like airy and like watery and you know but clouds give me a more dense feeling so when the sword is popping out it's just giving me that energy of like we are breaking through the, the storm we're breaking through the clouds we're breaking through the density and we are popping up with some excitement with some new energy okay um i'm feeling like honestly you guys are about to release like a creative project or you guys are about to embark on a new journey and you're really excited about it you're about to like birth something new right and I don't know if you guys are moving I don't know if you guys are traveling I don't know if you guys are starting a new career if you just graduated college if you're about to start college uni um I don't know what it is you guys are doing but I am feeling like you're starting a new chapter you're really excited about it and for some of you like I said it could be that there is an intertwining of like a king and an empress coming together however i'm feeling more so that like you guys are trying to look at this situation this next chapter um with clear eyes right you're trying to look at it with clarity you're trying to look at it through the the lens of like making the best decision possible or being more intellectual about it thinking about all the possibilities that could occur and we have the ten of cups you guys which signifies happiness this signifies quite literally um coming together with your partner or with your loved ones and admiring the scenery, admiring where we have come, where we are at, right? So with this, this is really telling me for a lot of you watching this, that there is this energy of you guys coming into a stage where you're feeling very satisfied with life. You're feeling very at peace, very like, um, you know what I'm saying? Very like, this is what peace feels like. This is what happiness feels like. Now, I don't know, again, if this is like an empress and the king of swords coming together and like sharing this life together. It's very possible. Um, or it could just be you sitting back on your own, being happy with your life, right? Being happy with where you're at, being happy with the accomplishments that you have accomplished. Uh, so I love that. This is probably one of my favorite cards in the deck, just because whenever it comes out, it does give an air of like happiness 
like things are good things are great things are like chill <clears throat> We have evolution, which is kind of why I was saying, like, I feel like you guys are bringing a new chapter into your life or you're starting a new chapter, you're starting a new phase because this evolution indicates for me that there is change. We can't evolve if we don't change. If we stay, you know what? We're gonna go out of order. We're gonna go out of order because there is another card in here that says this. Yes, take a chance. Okay, evolution and take a chance, you guys. You can't grow in your comfort zone. Stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe. Freaking go for it. evolution. Evolute, evolve, okay, guys? So take a chance. I do feel like for some of you, you're taking this chance, you are evolving, but again, you're doing it in a way where you're thinking about it very clearly. You're not being reckless. You're not being immature about this decision. You are, again, looking at all the possible outcomes. You are taking a educated guess or an educated um, position in the next decision that you're making, right? in regards to your evolution and the chance that you are taking to grow, okay? Um, the card that also came out was distance and it says there's too much distance to maintain this connection. It's very possible, you guys, that there is distance between the King of Swords and the Empress. Of course, that's possible. However, group one, what I'm really getting with this card is it's telling me that there's too much distance in this connection, perhaps, you guys are in a situation where you're in a relationship that's long distance or your goal and you are kind of like there's time required right and we also got time here as well so that's kind of why i'm picking up as this uh, of this distance as like time because if this isn't two people who are like trying to come together then i'm reading this more as like there's a long time period to wait for this evolution, for this creation to be birthed, for this move, for this next chapter. Um, time says waiting cycles and moments. So again, I do feel like there is a waiting period in between, right? Between um, when you're, when whatever, I don't know what you guys are doing. That's the thing, because this is a wild card message, it's hard for me to be like, oh, this love situation or oh your career or oh this or oh that so you guys just have to take it how it resonates honestly it feels like for a lot of you you're creative people or you're someone who's trying to start a business or you're someone who's trying to start something new you're trying to evolve you're trying to take that next step um but it feels <clears throat> like there almost needs to be like a burst of inspiration that comes through to strike you it almost feels like you guys are almost like analyzing the situation so much to where there may be some time period between when you actually start what you're wanting to start and when you actually or when you're thinking about what you want to start and when you actually start it it feels like there's a time period in between then and it could be again because we're like intellectuals and we're trying to like think about all the possibilities that could occur so yeah okay you also have thinking okay yeah so maybe we're overthinking and that's why this whole situation is taking time to unfold whether it's a love situation a career or a school situation perhaps even a travel situation creative situation you guys know um it could be just that you guys are overthinking it you guys are overthinking it and perhaps that is lagging the progress or lagging the evolution and again i'm not saying to just jump into this situation blindly i do think that it's a good idea for you guys to sit and ponder and consider all your options um I just think that perhaps we shouldn't wait too long. Like if you're wanting things to move forward, you can't just sit and think about it. Like you have to take action. We have calling in your soulmate. So it's very possible that there could be an air sign coming in who you are perceiving as your soulmate. Um, it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Obviously, if it's not an air sign, it could be any other sign, you guys. You don't have to be an air sign either, but like, um, calling in your soulmate, I do feel like this is you guys calling in either a romantic partner or a career or a phase in your life where, again, you're really freaking happy. I feel like this is a soulmate card almost, like where we're coming into alignment with what makes us happy. We're enjoying the rainbow. We are enjoying the emotional bliss, if y'all will, okay? So that is what I feel like you guys are going to be experiencing. I feel like it just might take some time because we do have this like overthinking energy. Positivity. 
okay? So perhaps you guys need to invoke a more positive mindset or invoke more positive um, thinking patterns in order to bring this in quicker. I am feeling like for a lot of you watching this, there's this energy of, again, this overthinking energy. And I feel like as long as we keep our thoughts positive and in a bright place, we may be able to bring th these manifestations in quicker or this person in quicker or this job, this career, this school situation. Um, keeping a positive mindset, you guys can take you so freaking far. Like, I swear to goodness, people don't understand how far a positive mindset can take you. And I'm not saying it's not okay to experience negative emotions. It's completely okay and normal to experience negative emotions, but to live in that and to stay in that all the time, it's gonna bring you down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, it's gonna make you a little sad. So um, yeah, positive mindset. <clears throat> also Leo energy. We have the fourth house and the third house, okay? So the fourth house signifies roots, the home, the family, um, things like that. And the third house is perception, communication, um, early childhood learning. So again, this could be a school situation that we're talking about or perhaps a family situation. Now I do consider like long-term relationships a family situation, especially if there's like, we're moving in together with our partner or we're creating a family with our partner. I don't know if you guys are choosing to move houses or homes or apartments or cities or towns or countries or whatever. Um, that may be a situation for some of you because again, we do have all this evolution and this take a chance stepping out of your comfort zone that's coming up and it's making me feel like you guys are choosing to move or make a big life change. And again, it could be moving in with your partner and that could be why we have this 10 of cups here because again, this is a wife and her husband holding each other sitting back and looking at the rainbow and being like, wow, life is great. Um, so I don't know, I'm feeling like you guys are making major changes in your home life to create more stability, harmony and happiness. And that could entail a lot. So we have the third house of perception, communication and early childhood learning you guys. So with this card, yes, some of you are in school and you are wanting to create something in school. I don't know if this is like a project you're working on or if this is an, ins an assignment you're working on. I don't freaking know, right? But there's something to do with communication school and learning things like that. So this could even be a need to change um, your perspective on things or change how you are viewing your current situation. Perhaps that's what this positive mindset is talking about. And the last card we have here is independence, curiosity, and exploration group number one. There is a need to invoke more curiosity, more independence. I do feel like you guys are moving and I don't know if this is a permanent move or if this is just like you're moving jobs or you're changing your car or you're moving apartments. Again, I don't know what it is, but I do feel like there is a major, a major life change about to occur that is going to inspire you guys to be more independent and perhaps inspire you guys to be more curious, which is something the cards have been screaming throughout this reading. Evolution, take a chance exploration like these three cards are all saying you guys need to get out and explore you guys need to get out and have fun try new things get out of your comfort zone don't stay in the same routine you need to shake things up a little bit yeah i feel like we need to get out of our mind because there is so much like time and thinking here and like pondering on stuff so i do feel like that needs to change for a lot of you watching this you may be calling in your soulmate manifesting your soulmate romantically or again something that is in vibrational alignment with you and your soul, whether that's career, school, a living situation, okay? So that's what I got for you guys. Good stuff coming for you, group number one. So thank you guys so much. Let me know below if this resonated. I love you, thank you, and I'll see you guys really soon. Okay, bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your guys' wild card reading. Let's go ahead and get started with the astrology. We got Cancer and Aquarius. Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, Leo and Virgo. Hello, Leo. Hello, Virgo. August children. Hello. Leo and Virgo again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cancer and Capricorn, the mother and the father. Hello. <laughs> Cancer and Aries. Cancer, you are here strong. So shout out to us. Okay. Shout out to us. All right. <clears throat> Starting off with the tarot can i please get a message oh no 
Can I please get a message for group? Oh, oh no. Can I get a message? Oh, good stuff. Okay, good. Cool. Can I get clarification on that last card, please? Oh, okay. Can I please... Can I please... Ooh, a confession. Family. Oh, no. Stress. Longing. There was one more. Running. Obstacles are blessed opportunities. Can I say something, you guys? This is a heavier reading, so if you're not in the mood, you can pick another pile or, I don't know, maybe just not watch this. But, uh, yeah, that's what's happening. It's a little heavy, and it's not, like, super heavy. It's not, you know, anything that I'd be like, oh, my God, no, this is really serious. But it's, it's, it's a little heavy. It's not horrible though you know like it's nothing that I would personally avoid but also like I'm someone oh the eighth house is here that yeah that makes sense um can I get one more darling can I please get one more thank you I lied this is the last one okay thank you oh okay group number two so we have the ten of wands and we have the five of cups this is disappointment this is a burden it's not the funnest energy right it's not the most i know that's not proper english it's not the most exciting right so i don't know if you guys just have a lot of stress on your plate right now if you have a lot going on if you are worried about something that might not um work out stress burdens a lot on your plate, a lot being expected of you perhaps from other people or maybe you're putting this pressure on yourself or perhaps you really do just have a freaking crazy life right now and things are just kind of hectic. That's what the Ten of Swords represents, burdens. Five of Cups represents um, disappointment. It represents um, us having five cups, three of those cups spilling over and we are devastated. We are really freaking upset that our five, that our three cups spilled over and now we are left with two. The key with this card, you guys, is that we still have things to be grateful for and there's still something to look at past the three cups, past the disappointment. We still have these two cups. We could have been left with no cups. There are some cards in the deck where they completely leave all their cups behind and they're just like, I have nothing, okay? So at least with this card, we still have these two cups um, and it's important that we focus our energy and our attention towards what is what we do have like what we can look forward to and I'm not saying ignore the the negative emotions or ignore um this loss that you guys are experiencing right now <clears throat> but perhaps if we can just adjust our focus we can be in a more positive mindset right and you don't have to if you don't want to if you want to like focus on the negative or focus on what is lost that's okay like it's okay to focus on your emotions it's okay to focus on negative things if that's what you want to do I just don't think it's okay to live in that energy to stay in that energy forever right now we also do have the nine of cups now the nine of cups represents contentness so being very content being very like okay I'm happy I'm content as you guys can see here like he's chilling on his chair and he's just relaxing he's just content it's not an overflow of happiness it's not like I'm overjoyed but it's like I'm happy for right now like I'm happy with what I have right now so I do feel like you guys will be able to get over this disappointment if you have not already done so already um but then we're just kind of laying in an area of neutrality almost or just being like yeah I'm happy like this is good everything's fine right <clears throat> we have the seven of swords you guys which could be talking about being bamboozled being um like someone coming up and like sneaking stuff from you someone being a fake someone being fraudulent okay 
Now, for me, I always see this as needing to prioritize, right? Because this man is quite literally prioritizing which swords he's taking and which swords he's not taking. So I'm looking at this as perhaps you guys getting your priorities straight and releasing some of these burdens. Perhaps some of these burdens or some of this responsibility is not your guys' responsibility and you're kind of putting a lot on your plate or you're putting a lot on yourself to like carry all this alone and perhaps with this seven of swords it's saying you guys are going to now take this time to focus on prioritizing what is important and what's not important what can i let go of and what do i want to take with me <clears throat> we can even look at that as like lessons right or like getting out of a bad relationship what am i going to take from that relationship and move in a positive direction or even a career like what am i going to take from this last job that i had and move into a different direction with this knowledge that I now accumulated through this previous career or job situation. And then we have the Ace of um, Wands. And the Ace of Wands, you guys, talks about new growth. It talks about <clears throat> excitement, passion. The wand oftentimes just represents a body part that is a wand-like shape and it can be held in a hand at times. Okay, so I do see this, you guys, as sometimes coming together with somebody and making children, building a home together, building a life together. Because again, the wand is in the hand and it's gr like there's growth coming off of it. You guys see, right? And for me, that signifies we're having babies or we're starting a life together or we're building something new. Now, obviously not all of you are in a romantic relationship. So if you're not in a romantic relationship or you're not interested in that, of course, this could mean like you're going off on your own. You're getting really excited about what the next chapter brings and you're excited for this new growth. You're excited to build, to have this like spring day, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't know why my throat is like going in and out. Uh, I'm trying. Um, we have balanced forces here, okay? So balanced forces, you guys, balance, okay? This is not balanced. This is not balanced, okay? It's not. So perhaps what we're trying to bring in is <clears throat> more balance. Perhaps we're trying to harmonize, not overwork ourselves, not overstress ourselves. I feel like for a lot of you, you're just really freaking hard on yourself. You're just like, you know what I'm saying? Um, you push yourself perhaps to a level that you don't need to push yourself. You expect a lot from yourself. And perhaps what this card is asking you guys to do is to come into a state of more balance. Again, this prior prioritizing, okay? Prioritize what is important and what's not important. Honestly, the balance forces you guys also does give me masculine and masculine and feminine energy. So I don't know, again, if some of you are coming into union with somebody um, <clears throat> or if this disappointment has to do with a relationship, but it's giving me very sun and the moon, masculine and feminine. In the dice, I said the mother and the father are here. Interesting, okay? Um, you know what? We also have family here, you guys, which I think is interesting. But the next one is confessions, okay? Um, this says unveiling, coming clean, and messages. This could have to do with this burdens and this disappointment, you guys, okay? So someone could be coming to you guys and confessing something that is rather hard to hear or something that you're not necessarily happy to hear. It could also be that you guys are going to somebody else and confessing, bringing light to a situation. We have family. I don't know if this has to do with your family. It could. Maybe someone in your family disappointed you or maybe someone in your family is coming to you with some like not great news. This says fertility, parenthood, and pregnancy. I don't know if someone in your family is getting pregnant, if you're getting pregnant. Um, pregnancy could also just be like bringing something into the world though, like creating something. I was kind of saying this in the last pile. For a lot of you watching this, I feel like this has to do with someone who's close to you. Like someone who's close to you, like disappointed you or confessed something to you that was kind of upsetting. It's very possible, you guys, that you feel like you are carrying burdens from your family. I don't know if that's making sense for any of you, but that's a possibility. Perhaps there's a need to put yourself first and prioritize yourself. And that's why that seven of swords came up. We have stress. This is turbulence, tension, and arguments. Okay, so this is the 10 of wands. Burdens, stress, turbulence, tension. I do feel like there's a new chapter coming, you guys, but it's like we're working through this energy 
of letting go of the disappointment or letting go of those burdens and moving on because again we do have that ace of wands right and the ace of wands signifies that we have something new coming in so that we're going to be really excited about and that there is potential for growth okay so I don't want you guys to get too discouraged we also have longing this is craving aching and wanting I don't know what you guys are longing for. You guys may be longing for this happiness or longing for this feeling of contentness. You guys could also be longing for that balanced forces or longing for somebody to come in and like give you the same amount of effort that you are giving other people. I feel like for a lot of you, you may be feeling um, taken, taken advantage of at the moment. And this could be from family members, from friends, from a work situation, right? Um, but I feel like for some of you watching this, like you just feel very taken advantage of and we're longing for this happiness. We're longing for this fresh start. We're longing for something new to come in and kind of take us away from these burdens or take us away from the disappointment that we've been experiencing. The dissatisfaction. That's what this reading feels like. I am dissatisfied, okay? Unsatisfied with what is currently going on. And <clears throat> I feel like there's this need to kind of take what's important and leave right? I'm almost feeling this need to like pack up my clothes and be like, that's, that's it. Pack up my clothes, take Thackeray, be like, let's go and just leave. Like, that's what it feels like. And I know like you guys obviously don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm just putting myself in this position. It feels like I need to get my clothes, get my cat and get out the door, like just freaking go. It doesn't feel like staying in this situation is going to inspire any type of change. You know, um, we also have running. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you guys feel the need to run away from the situation. Um, it says ghosting, disappearing, and invisible. Maybe you guys feel the need to run from the situation. And I'm not telling you not to do that because I just told you to do that. Um, there feels like there needs to be a change, right? There feels like there needs to be something that we are leaving behind and taking what's important with us. <sighs> We have perseverance. It says obstacles are blessed opportunities of growth. Both partners have the desire. If both partners have the desire and will to overcome. Yeah. I don't know, you guys. Whatever the situation is, because for some of you, it has to do with work. And I really feel like if you're being taken advantage of or if you're feeling like there's too much being put on you, I don't want to tell you that running is a bad thing. I don't want to tell you to keep taking abuse because this card is literally saying like, yeah, obstacles are blessed opportunities for growth. I agree with that. But at the same time, you don't have, like you don't have to prove that you're good enough to be with someone or that you're good enough for a job by taking abuse or by taking someone taking advantage of you, right? You don't have to do that. So if you're feeling taken advantage of, if you're feeling like someone is hurting you, again, whether that is in a work environment, a friendship, or a romantic partnership, <laughs> the door, okay? I'm gonna need you to pack it up and go because like this isn't okay. And of course, I don't think that we should just run away from difficult situations because difficult situations do bring us growth. They do bring us opportunities to grow and expand. And I think that is so important but it's not okay to take abuse or to accept abuse. It's not okay. And I'm tired of like people feeling like they have to endure abuse or they have to endure people inflicting. No, no, okay? No, boundaries. We have telepathy. It says this connection is very strong, empathetic, um, telepathic soul bond. This could be a karmic situation, you guys. Whether, and I know it says soul bond. I know it says telepathy, but it feels karmic. If I'm just being honest with you, what are all the cards here telling you? Karmic, okay? So I'm feeling like there is a need to cut the cord of this karmic situation and to move on again, to prioritize what is important, what's not important, and to move on to this Ace of Wands, okay? To have this fresh start. And look, if you want to sit here and work on things and to try and to like work it out, you totally can, you guys. Um, you can, you know, but that's your choice to make. Like you have to make that choice for yourself. I'm just feeling like it's harder to grow something or to have a fresh start when there's already like decay on the plant, right? If there's already decay or if there's already like weakness on the plant, it's better just to start new. That's my thought process. It's very possible you guys want to stay and try to make this work. Again, whether it's in a work environment, a friendship, 
a relationship. You guys can do that. If that's what you want to do, you can do it. Perseverance indicates pushing through something and trying to overcome that. It's just, if you feel like it's time to walk away, it's time to walk away. Um, we have grounding, which of course I feel like this is relevant for you guys, the potato, grounding yourself, feeling centered, feeling stable. I feel like this is important because it's really asking you guys to be sure of the decisions that you're making, be sure of the things that you are prioritizing and make sure that like, make sure that the decisions that you are making are coming from a place of being grounded and not from a place of impulsivity, okay? We also have an agreement. So perhaps this situation is ending in an agreement or ending in some type of like resolution where we are agreeing upon something together or we're agreeing to like make a change. We're agreeing to start new. We're agreeing to have this fresh start. That's very possible for you guys, okay? If I'm being honest, this feels like a boss or like a manager coming forward and being like, um, I've been taking advantage of you or like I've been, uh, you've been not getting paid the amount of money you were supposed to be getting paid or a friend, sh a friend coming to you and being like, oh, I did this and that and you feel betrayed by it or a, a lover or a, a relationship partner coming to you and being like, I did this and you're just like, what the freaking heck? And there's like this anger and there's this resentment and there's stress and we're wanting so badly to be happy. We're wanting so badly to have this balance and this peace. But the only way that we're going to do that is if we move on. And I'm not saying you can't move on in the same situation that you're in. But it's harder, right? It's harder to nurture something that has already been broken or something that has been um, disheveled, right? I don't know. I don't know, you guys, I'm sorry if this is relating to you. If you're resonating, I'm so sorry. If you're not, I'm so happy you're not resonating because this is this is tough energy. We have the eighth house of transformation, you guys. This is death and rebirth. You see there's a butterfly here because she is going through a metamorphosis, okay? So group number two, you guys are going through a metamorphosis right now. You have to choose what you wanna do, right? This is not up for me to tell you what to do. This is up to you guys to choose what you wanna do. Do you wanna transform? Do you wanna come into this new phase? Or do you wanna stay in your cocoon? Do you wanna stay where it's comfortable? Do you wanna stay um, where you're familiar with, right? Or do you wanna come out and be this butterfly and see what the world has to offer? I feel like that's what that's talking about. We also have Jupiter, which is talking about growth and expansion. Growth showed up again with the perseverance, you guys. Perhaps this is here, this situation is happening in your life to ask you how bad do you really want this, right? I feel like for me, whenever something difficult happens in my life, it always makes me question, do I really want this? And oftentimes, if an obstacle comes up and I don't really want something, I'm gonna be like toodaloo, right? I'm gonna be like, this isn't worth it. I don't want this that bad anyways. I'm just gonna move on. Um, versus something or somebody that I really want or really care about, I'm going to stay and I'm going to fight and I'm going to try my hardest. Um, so I feel like perhaps, like, you know, Jupiter's coming in to be like, we're growing, we're expanding. Perhaps this is here to push you along in this new step. We have self-confidence, leader, and power. You guys have to be the leader in this situation. You guys have, you cannot look to other people for the answers in this situation. You guys cannot look to your friends, to your family members, to, you have to go within yourself. You have to make this decision 100% on your own because if you don't, I feel like you're gonna regret listening to other people. Or I feel like you're gonna regret not trusting your own instincts and your own gut if you're wanting to stay in the situation you guys stay in the situation and work and fight and try to make it better right if you're feeling like you need to leave i'm telling you right now girl leave boy leave because like to me i wouldn't stay i would be like okay but that's just me that's just me but i support you in what you want to do if you want to stay and make the situation work stay and make it work I just feel like it's gonna be a lot of hard work. So if you're willing to put in the work, then maybe that's what you do. We have soulmate here and it says, yes, this is your soulmate. So maybe this is a relationship or a job you really love or a friendship you really freaking love and they betrayed you, they hurt you, they told you something that like broke your heart and you're like, dang, now I have to sit here and pick up the pieces because like you are my person. You are the person I want to be with. You are the person I'm meant to be with. And I do just wanna say you guys, we have multiple soulmates in this lifetime. 
We do not have just one soulmate. We do not have just one soulmate. Think about it. There are 7 billion people on this planet. You think there's only one person out there who's going to fit you? There's so many people out there. There's so many amazing people out there, you guys. And I don't want you to stay with somebody, whether it's a friendship, a job, or even a family member, a relationship, just because you feel like this person's your soulmate, because yes, they can be your soulmate. That doesn't mean that they're right for you in this lifetime. That doesn't mean that they're right for you at this moment in time. Perhaps they have growing they need to do. Perhaps you have growing you need to do. Um, again, if you want to stay and make this work, stay and make it work. If you don't, because you feel like this is your soulmate, I don't want this to be the only reason you stay with someone. Again, whether it's a friendship, a job, or whatever. Okay, then we have make the effort, okay? And it says, great love is worth taking steps you are guided to take. What did I say? Taking steps you are guided to take. You are guided to take. You have to listen to yourself and your own gut. Do you wanna make this work group number two? Do you wanna stay and do the hard work? Do you wanna stay and go through all the anger, the hurt, the anguish? Like, do you wanna stay and do that? Because if you wanna stay and do that, I feel like that's what you gotta do. If this is the career field you wanna be in and you're like, I don't want to go into another career field, then stay and make it work, okay? But it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be stressful, you're gonna feel a lot of pressure, you're gonna be angry sometimes, you're gonna be, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be easy, but I don't feel like it's not worth it. Does that make sense? Like I don't feel like it's impossible and I don't feel like it's gonna lead to nothing but I do feel like it's important eventually that we can move past this and have this fresh start either with this person with this job with this career with this friend or on our own like we have to have this fresh start regardless whether we're taking them with us or not so that's what I have for you guys group number two let me know below if this resonated thank you guys so much I love you guys so freaking much I'm sorry if this resonates I love you this is a hard decision to make I believe that you will make the best decision possible for you um I believe in you and I trust you so thank you I love you and I'll talk to you guys really soon okay bye hello group number three welcome to your guys' reading let's go ahead and get started we have Aquarius and Libra hello Aquarius hello Libra Libra and <laughs> Pisces. Hello, Libra. Hello, Pisces. Ooh, Cancer and Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. Hello, my June and July babies. Cancer and Aries. Hello. Sagittarius and Gemini. Hello. Sagittarius and Gemini together are like so much fun. I don't know if you guys have ever been around a Sagittarius and a Gemini at the same time, but the fun is never ending. We have Pisces and um, Aries. That is what we got. Six of Pentacles, generosity. Can I please have a card? We have the star. Can I please have a card for group number three? Can I please have a card? Ooh, a decision. Ooh, the devil. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, I love the devil card. I think it's one of my favorite cards. I feel like I say that about so many cards, but I really do love the devil card because he's just so complex. You know what I'm saying? And he represents Capricorn and I love me an earth sign. So like, I just, I just love him. Okay. Can I please get an Oracle card for group number three, a wild card message for freedom, loving compassion. Can I please... Ooh, we are being influenced by something exclusive, elusive, heart fog. Ooh. Can I please? Okay, stop. Not shuffling this at this moment. We have the seven of cups and heart fog. It's a little sus to me. It's a little sus. Can I have a message for group? unexpected can i have a message for group heart chakra lessons from jupiter all right see i'm so sorry can i please have a message for group longevity can i please ooh 
past life relationship. Can I express your love? Can I please have a message for group first house? Can I please have a message? The sun, beautiful. Okay, oops, my bad. Can I have a whoosh? Ooh, okay. Generosity, blessings, and gifts. Renewed faith, restored hope, okay? Being vulnerable in front of the moon and the stars, okay? Um, I don't know if someone's coming into your life and being generous with you guys or if you guys are being generous with yourselves. Um, that's a possibility because this card, as you guys can see here, he's like handing out his coinage, right? He's like, you know what I'm saying? He's giving out the money. He's giving out the coins. So that's a possibility for you guys, group number one, someone coming in and being generous with you, or perhaps you guys are being generous with yourselves. Now we also have the star. The star is restored faith, restored hope, literally being vulnerable and raw and like stripped of everything that's like material and aesthetic and just being bare in front of the stars and having this new faith, having this new hope and being optimistic about the future. Also, this signifies blessings, okay? And wishes coming true. Now this is Aquarian energy, so help Hello to all the Aquarians out there. We have the Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups, you guys, signifies having a lot of options in front of you and needing to be very careful or very just understanding that things are not always what they seem. Um, the only example I can think of, you guys, is like when you're dating someone or when you're like getting to know someone, you're like, oh my God, they're so cute. They're so this, they're so that. And then you find out like they're, they like can't hold a conversation or they're mean to the waiter or whatever it may be. Um, things are not always what they seem. Even the tower, you know, before the tower falls, it looks nice on the outside, but if you step inside that tower, it's leaking, okay? The, the pipes are rusted there's cockroaches and rats you know what I'm saying so things are not always what they seem you guys that is the point with this so when we make a decision we have to be very careful and very um aware that things are not always what they seem so that is that use your discernment be very careful don't just pick the pile of gold because a pile of gold could be a pile of trash we have the devil here, okay? And the devil talks about being enslaved. He talks about something having a hold of you. This could be representing a bad habit. This could be representing um, <clears throat> a pattern that we're stuck in that's not necessarily the most productive or positive. This could be representing adult energy, okay? Adult passions. Perhaps we are giving in to our passions. Perhaps we are giving in to the lust of it all. Um, the devil also represents like the dark parts of us, right? The dark parts that we have. So the thing with this, you guys, is this gives us an opportunity to overcome because we have more power in this situation than we realize. When the devil pops up, you guys, like he is not here to say, you are mine and you have to stay here. He's here to say, I'm the boss. What are you going to do about it? Do you wanna be free? Do you wanna be in this situation? Because if the answer is yes, you gonna be stuck in this situation. If the answer is no, there's opportunity to free yourself. That's what comes up with the devil. This is an obstacle that we are capable of overcoming if we want to, right? So yeah, this could be someone who's coming in who you find very addictive or very intoxicating. This could be an activity that you find very intoxicating. This could be um, perhaps like making money or like, something like this that we are just finding it very hard to let go of or hard to not be engulfed in this devil energy okay again it could just be representing adult energy so perhaps you guys having okay we have freedom which is so interesting we have the freedom here and we have the devil here it's really beautiful you guys because again like i said you're not enslaved by this devil if you have a bad habit that you're trying to overcome you're not enslaved by that bad habit you are able to free yourself you are capable you're strong you're 
strong enough to do that. So with this card, you guys, I am feeling again, like this is very much connected to this devil card. Perhaps you guys just need to have this like restored faith and restored hope. Perhaps there needs to be something that occurs in your life that strips you of everything. And then you're able to look at things more clearly and you're able to be like, oh, I actually can get past this. I can get through this. With this devil card, you guys, I do want to encourage you guys to perhaps take a step back okay and evaluate how you are able to better serve yourself and better free yourself from whatever the situation is for a lot of you this may be a person that you're like addicted to and I know that's hard to step away from um I know it's not easy to step away from perhaps you guys are addicted again to like your job or addicted to like substances or a certain habit a certain whatever and we're wanting to move on we're wanting to move forward um in moving forward again it's important to make sure that we are making the best choices and not just looking at things with rose colored glasses okay we also have loving and compassion perhaps this is talking again about you guys needing to be compassionate towards yourself and loving towards yourselves um showing more love and compassion being love and compassion i would say that's always a, a good recipe right we have unexpected, this is people, events, uh, messages, travel, or situations, you guys. So perhaps unexpected events are occurring and that is how we are gaining this freedom or gaining this momentum forward, okay? I love unexpected events. We have a chakra, heart chakra. It says, awaken your heart, your heart center, and let love in. Perhaps you guys are afraid to love because of this devil. Perhaps you guys are afraid, and even if it's like a job or a friendship, um, cause I know for me, like with certain career decisions that I've made, I've been afraid to do it because I'm just like, what if I really like it? And then I, I'm stressed because I love this job. And then like, what if something happens? You know what I'm saying? So perhaps you guys are afraid from something that has happened in your past that has made you feel like unworthy. So there's like this devil energy of like, oh, I have to, I have to make sure that I'm being perfect or I have to make sure that I'm like this and that and, da, da, da. and it's like enslaving you guys like the overthinking or the over analyzing over, over analyzing is enslaving you we also have the heart chakra you guys like I said and this is just saying get in touch with your heart center point which again love compassion loving compassion we have lessons from Jupiter align demonstrate and express the values and beliefs you have learned about love open to new way be open to new ways the results are healing and expansive the results are healing and expansive. Be open to new ways. The star is a new way, you guys. The star is us being stripped naked and us experiencing a new way of being, a new way of loving, a new way of experiencing love or experiencing happiness, okay? We are not attached to this devil anymore. We are free, right? I feel like with this seven of cups, you guys, it's important to know that like you're important and you're worthy and you don't have to lower your standards because I feel like for some of you watching this, the seven of cups isn't necessarily going to be like someone who's putting on a mask. I feel like it's almost you guys looking at someone and wanting to believe the best in people instead of believing what they're showing you. Does that make sense, you guys? I feel like um, there's like a maybe even you're going in for an interview right and this is like your dream job and you walk in and you're just getting weird vibes or the people are being rude or you're the person who's interviewing you is being like sketchy or this or that and instead of trusting your intuition or trusting trusting what your eyes are showing you what you're experiencing you're like no i'm just over exaggerating or i'm this or i'm that and we ignore the red flags i feel like the seven of cups is saying don't ignore the red flags don't ignore them look at them you don't deserve that, right? Make sure you can move past that. We have elusive. This is dishonesty, deceptive, and trickery. See? Seven of Cups. Okay, what did I just say? That's basically everything I just said. We have influences. Okay, this is attachments, third parties, and peers. Don't fall into peer pressure. Group number three. Don't fall into peer pressure. Don't fall. Don't do it. If someone's telling you, you should really do this, and you're like, mm, I don't really think I should. I think that's not right for me. Listen to yourself. Don't listen to the influences around you. This devil may be influencing you guys, okay? If there's someone in your life who you know is like this devilish person, and I don't mean to call someone like the devil, right? But I just mean someone who you know perhaps doesn't make the best decisions, or you know somebody who's very um, overbearing or overpowering, powering. Um, you don't need to listen to them. That is what I'm getting with the influences. I do feel like the influence is very heavily connected to the devil card. 
You have heart fog, which again, the seven of cups, heart fog. It says mixed signals, blocked emotions, messed up. This is something from your past, you guys. Perhaps people or situations from your past have created this energy of like, I don't know who I can trust or who's being honest, who's not being honest. And it's very important, group number three, that you guys have clarity. Again, don't succumb, succumb to the illusion. If somebody is showing you who they are, believe them. Don't ignore the red flags. Don't make excuses for people, group number three. Again, whether it's a career, a friend, a relationship, a romantic situation, don't make excuses for people. You're a good person, group three. You're a kind hearted person. I can feel that. And I feel like that's why this is popping up because you wanna believe the best in people. And here's the thing, there are great people out in the world. There are amazing people out in the world. There are so many, but there are also people who sometimes just freaking suck, okay? And no matter what you do, they're just gonna suck. If they wanna change, they gotta change on their own, okay? So don't make excuses for people. Don't try to paint people to be better than what they are. Accept people for how they are. And I feel like that may help you guys relieve some of the confusion. <clears throat> if you feel someone's being dishonest, deceptive, or being a little bit of a trickster, you need to cut the cord, okay? We have longevity, okay? So longevity, I feel like is talking about you guys looking at the long-term, the bigger picture. Um, what is going to make you happy long-term and not just in this moment? Evaluate your values, <laughs> evaluate your values, evaluate what's important to you, evaluate like what it is that you want in the long-term. Oh, the next one we have here is a past life relationship. You have known each other before. There could be some karma coming in here, either again in a friendship, in a love situation, in a job situation. Um, past life for me feels very much like our souls are connected and there's unfinished business, okay? We also have express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Going back to let in love, okay? Don't hide from love. I feel like <laughs> this is a mixed signal here, right guys? Cause I'm like, don't fall for BS, but open your heart up. Don't trust people, but also trust people. I feel like what the cards are saying, you guys, is it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be open. It's okay to allow yourself to be happy. It's okay to experience happiness, okay? To get excited, it's okay. Um, you need to know that you are free from this devil. You need to know that like, you're free from the influences of this devil and you are not controlled by anybody other than yourself. You need to know that all the decisions that you make are 100% up to you. And if somebody is, you know, throwing out red flags left and right, it's time to skedaddle, okay? Don't allow yourself, a part of loving yourself and a part of loving other people is setting boundaries, you guys, okay? So don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid to be like, look, I don't deserve to be treated like this or I'm not gonna accept this behavior, A, B, and C. Don't allow negative experiences from the past though to hold you back. That's what I feel like this is really saying. It no longer holds power over you. Your ex doesn't hold power over you anymore. That past job doesn't hold power over you anymore. Your parents don't hold power over you anymore unless you are under their care. And then, sorry about that, but or not, not sorry about that, I don't know. Um, we have the first house, you guys, we're just talking about the physical body, physical looks. This is, for me, talking about attraction or how we look at ourselves. We have the fifth house of creativity, romance, okay, you guys? This is passion, play, children, having fun. So maybe there is a need to invoke more passion, play, and fun into your life. We also have the sun, which is happiness and purpose. Okay, so finding our purpose, finding what is meant for us, I feel like the sun really comes in and it just gives this energy of like confidence and radiance and trying to live our best life, right? I feel like the sun also comes in and clears, oops, clears some of this fog away, right? So clarity, there's a need for clarity in this situation. Perhaps we're getting that clarity through just expressing ourselves and how we're feeling. Time, power, and divinity. You are powerful, group number three. You need to trust that you're powerful. You need to move forward in your power. I feel like it's very important for you guys. <sighs> Here's the thing. I gotta, I'm gonna put my leg up for this. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff going on here, group three, right? And what I'm getting for you guys, I feel like this devil, this influence, this, um, 
deceptive energy, the heart fog energy is coming from your past. I feel like this devil is in your past. This is an obstacle you've already come, overcome because we have this freedom here. And I don't want you guys to allow your past or allow this devil to stop you from now living in the moment and being able to welcome in love or welcome in happiness. You guys don't need to be jaded. You guys don't need to walk through life thinking that people are going to screw you over. Don't ignore the red flags, but don't go through life expecting people to hurt you or expecting situations not to work out in your interest, okay? That's what I feel like this message is really all about. It's acknowledging that there is this devil here. It's acknowledging that there is um, perhaps that influence or the negativity that's going on, but it's also saying like, hey, you need to recognize that it's okay to love, it's okay to open up, it's okay to experience happiness again, and you don't have to be fearful because we have clarity, right? Because we have this sun here to come in and clear up this heart fog, to clear up any of the confusion. Express yourself very clearly, group number three, and let people know what you want and what you expect. Don't minimize your power. Don't minimize what it is that you're capable of. Don't minimize your worth, group number three. <gasps> that is what I have for you guys, group three. Let me know below if this resonates. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you really soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. My voice is going out again. I'm still trying to, you know what I'm saying, you guys? The plague is a long, a long thing. So um, I shuffled off camera. I'm sorry. I shuffled on camera for the other groups, but mm, I just feel my throat trying to, trying to leave me, my voice. Um, we have Scorpio and we have Taurus. Hello, sister signs, Scorpio and Taurus. We have Sagittarius and Libra. Hello, Saggy. Hello, Libra. We have Virgo and Leo. Scorpio, Leo. Scorpio and Gemini. Hello, Scorpio. Hello, Gemini. Um, we also have Cancer and Gemini in the cards. So first card we have here is the Chariot. The Chariot is represented by Cancer Energy, you guys. This is determination. This is willpower. This is I am stubborn and I dare you to try to stop me. I dare you, do it, try it, okay? That's who the chariot is. The chariot is quite literally like, I'm I'm going to go, I'm going to go, you're not gonna stop me. Once the chariot makes a decision, that's it. It's over for all of you, that's it. So the chariot, okay? This could be you, this could be somebody in your life, you guys. We also have the world, which is a wrapping up of cycles. We are having a finale. We are having a wrapping of the ups. We are finishing something out. We are saying, okay, the conclusion is now drawn, okay? The world, wrapping it up. Love her so much. We also have the lovers here, you guys. Now, the lovers, you guys, talks about two things that are solely connected, connected at the soul, coming together. This also sometimes talks about like needing to make a decision, like needing, you know what I'm saying? But for me, this is feeling very much lovers ask. This is feeling very much we are coming together in union with something that is very important to our soul, okay? This could be a romantic partner, a friendship, a job, a career, a destination, um, an event, an experience, but something that is connected to our soul, you guys. Something that we feel. You guys have may even felt your whole life that you were meant to do this or you were meant to experience this. We have the Three of Pentacles here, you guys. Now, the Three of Pentacles talks about working really hard with other people. In a love reading, this isn't a love reading, but in a love reading, I see this as two people coming together to create the relationship, a strong foundation for the relationship. Now, because this is a general wild card message, <laughs> this is really telling me that you guys are coming together with somebody to build something outside of yourself. So I don't know what that is. Again, it could be a relationship. It could be a project at work. It could be a child. It could be a creative something. I don't know if you guys are trying to produce music or if you guys are trying to produce artwork of some form, um, but we're like collaborating with someone, right? We're coming in and we're trying to collaborate. Perhaps you guys are even looking for inspiration because it doesn't have to be like we're physically coming together with someone. It could be that we are looking or seeking um, inspiration from outside sources to help motivate us. We have the seven of pentacles. Now the seven of pentacles, you guys, is quite literally us taking this seed. We are planting it in the ground and we are saying, here's some soil, here's some water, Okay, here's some sunlight. 
Okay, now grow. I love you. You're beautiful. You're going to be so tall and strong and green. And I love you. That, that is what the Seven of Pentacles is. I am putting the hard work and effort in towards my crops. Okay, so again, determination. Try to stop me, babe. I'm going to have my success. I'm going to harvest this crop. I'm going, it, period. Try to stop. Try it try to stop me okay so to me this feels because sometimes the seven of pentacles you guys could be like there's not a successful crop however because we have the chariot here we have the lovers here we have the three of pentacles here all of these cards are telling me that this crop that you this plant the seed that you are planting is going to bring you the harvest not without work not without effort but it's going to bring you the harvest we have multi um, symbiotic, multi, oh my God, my brain, mutually symbiotic. It says this is a beneficial and balanced connection. Both partners have the same feelings, ideals, values, and shared life goals. Okay. Okay. So soulmates coming together or something again that you have felt your whole life that you were meant to do this, like you feel it in your soul, in your gut, Ooh, I was meant to be an artist. I was meant to create this. I was meant to work in this field. Even if it's not like an artistic field, you guys, like maybe you just feel very solely, spiritually, gut wrenchingly pulled to something specific. Some people feel called to like, you know, work in medicine. Some people feel called to work with animals. Some people feel called to work with children. It could be an array of things, but we feel it in our soul, in our gut. Like it's not something that's just like a passive feeling. It's not something that's like, oh yeah, I, I, I'll do that. I want to do this or I want to be, you know what I'm saying? I want love. No, it's like mm, in the gut, like, oh, it's strong. You know, it's not a surface level feeling. We have new patterns. It says do things differently in order to bring health vit and vitality into your love life. Do things differently. Switch it up, babe. Switch it up. Do something a little funky. Do something a little fresh. Try something new. We cannot continue to stay in the same loop, which is why we are wrapping up this cycle, you guys, because we can't stay in this loop. Okay. If we stay in this loop, guess what's going to change? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. If we stay in this loop, what's going to happen? We're just staying in the loop. We gotta switch it up. We gotta get funky. We gotta get fresh. We gotta try something else. So we have a track that says, set your intentions high and know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. Attract, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't chase, I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me, babe, okay? Don't lower your standards, you guys, okay? What you want is, attain is obtainable. Be this chariot push through be stubborn be stubborn we have you deserve love which the last card just said that <laughs> you deserve love group number three four <laughs> we have engagement it says your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment this could even be in a career field or again with your artistic talent with a friendship with school you are transcending you are moving on up you are leveling up you are moving forward if this is a relationship you guys this could be moving in this could be getting a puppy together this could be quite literally getting engaged which congratulations darling if that's the case okay we have possibilities free-spirited adventure risks take a risk the possibilities are endless and open hearts be ready to receive be ready to give be ready to just you know what i'm saying you guys an open heart for me is vulnerable it says empathy okay but like an open heart to me means like I'm just ready for whatever happens and I'm not holding any expectations right I'm gonna take it how it comes I'm gonna go with the flow because when we have like expectations or when we go oh I want it to work out this way and this way and that way that's fine but like we're not able to then appreciate what it is you know what I'm saying the situation for what it is I'm not saying don't have standards, don't have um, a bar that is high. But what I'm saying is when we try to micromanage, when we try to control things that prevents us from having an open heart and being open to surprises, being open to the possibilities, right? So be open to that, you guys. We have fantasies. This is daydreaming, imagining, and fantasizing. That's exactly what I was just talking about, fantasizing. Okay. So you guys may be fantasizing about the situation. You guys may be daydreaming. Perhaps you are manifesting. Um, love this. Okay. 
We have stimulation, attraction again. Wasn't attraction here already? Attract, yeah. Okay. And energy. So we're being stimulated. This could be romantically. This could be um, spiritually. This could be artistically. This could be just, we're just, again, motivation. We're seeking out motivation. And maybe it's not that we're working with someone and that we are seeking out motivation. We are being stimulated by somebody else. Somebody else is encouraging us to move forward, to get passionate, to get excited. Attraction, we already talked about. And energy. Okay, so there is momentum. There is progression. There is a moving forward, you guys. We have love, compassion, and life-giving. This whole reading has been like very lovey-dovey, very like, okay. And moving forward and like pushing through. All right, so the final cards we have here, there are three cards. We have Sagittarius, okay. Sagittarius is for me, like when I think of a Sagittarius, I think of someone who's fun, who's trying to party, who's trying to have a good time. I think of somebody who um, enjoys traveling, someone who likes to argue, okay? Maybe that's just me personally, but every Sagittarius I've encountered, I have had an argument with at one point or another. And I don't have arguments with people, but I'm also not opposed to arguing with people. Like I will argue with you, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not avoidant. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like I will be aggressive, I'm a cancer. And I know people think can cancers just cry, but like the FBI knows. Anyways, fighting, I mean not fighting. <laughs> Adventure is fun, free-spirited. Think of Britney Spears, okay? We also have Aries here, you guys. Um, bold, force. Aries to me are leaders, but they're leaders in a way where they're very fun and they're very like charismatic and they're very almost childlike, but they do it in a way where it's still like, I don't know, responsible, but not responsible. Type A personality is how I would describe in Aries. I really admire Aries so much because I just wish that I had this energy. I wish that I was someone who is like, woo, and like also a leader and just, I don't know. I don't feel like I exhibit any of this, but I love this energy so freaking much. Um, so leaders who are fun and like charismatic, athletic, feisty, okay. Love Aries, especially Aries women. Aries women, beautiful. We have Capricorn, which Capricorn, Hello, dad. We love dad here. Um, Capricorns are very practical, very grounded, very stable. Capricorns are the boss of the zodiac sign. And I know Capricorns are so tired of getting that stereotype in Capricorn. I know there is so much more depth to you than that. I know that. Um, however, because we're talking about generalizations, this is a group reading. I have to keep everybody general, okay? So Capricorns generally are very business-like. I've never met a Capricorn who's not good at making money. I've met many Capricorns who are bad at managing money, but they're good at making it. You know what I'm saying? So business oriented, stable, practical. You can always rely on a Capricorn, you guys, okay? They're very reliable. Also, they're very freaky, okay? If you guys have ever been with a Capricorn, they are freaks. So that's what I have for you guys, group number four. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. This was probably the most exciting reading. I feel like you guys are trying to create something. There's endless possibilities here. I feel like the key to this is just finding that motivation to keep going, finding that motivation to push through um, and wrapping up that cycle, that previous cycle and letting it go, opening up your heart to the possibilities of what could come, what could happen, right? Not necessarily having this dogmatic view on it has to be like this and it has to be like that. And da -da -da, you know what I'm saying? Um, have a goal, have a bar but don't be dogmatic in how you get to that bar, right? So that's what I have for you guys here for. Thank you guys. I love you so much. You're beautiful. You're amazing. And I'll talk to you guys really, really soon. Okay, bye.